introduce Council Speaker Corey Johnson. I became aware of Corey's compassion for animals in 2016 when I was co-leading the effort to ban the use of wild animals in circuses in New York City. then a council member, along with Rosie Mendez, council member then, took the lead on that historic bill which they passed, along with Carlina Rivera, who was Rosie's legislative director at the time, in 2017. And Corey's recognition of the cruelty inherent in exploiting wild animals for entertainment was extremely apparent during the emotional day-long hearing at city council, which many of you attended. I have a photo in my home office of Corey and Rosie with their hands raised in joy and celebration outside of City Hall on that day that the bill was passed, and many of you were there as well. Every time I look at that photo, it reminds me of the leadership, the compassion, and the sense of justice that Corey has. But on that joyous day in 2017, I didn't know that two years later, as council speaker, Corey would go on to do even more and that he would go even further. To spearhead and pass this historic package of animal rights bills is not only a huge legislative achievement that will stop the suffering and death of millions of animals, but it shows the kind of person Corey is. A person who cares about those in need and those who suffer, both people and animals. And a person who is a passionate leader who works to stop this suffering. I actually don't think he ever sleeps. <laughs> but I hope he does. This is why we're celebrating this absolutely amazing person tonight. So please give a warm welcome to my friend, Council Speaker Corey.
that got all of you to City Hall and to the hearings and that have continued to show them the light on what we need to do for animals in New York City. I'm not going to go through every single bill, but I'm going to, but I'm going to just say a few things. The, this package of bills that we passed just a few weeks ago, I think, really starts to finally set us on a course for understanding what a humane city actually looks like. Quagra <laughs> is inhumane. And I am really, really grateful that Carlina Rivera, in the midst of being attacked from all sides for doing the right thing, saw this through to the finish line with all of you. And all of the other bills that we did individually on their own might be great, but collectively together are going to make a real difference for animals in New York City. And I want to remind you that so many of you in this room, and Matthew, and Allie, and Joyce, and uh, Fernando, all that worked on bills before that I think brought us to this point. We passed that exotic animal uh, ban a few years ago. Mm -hmm. We were cry required uh, one of my bills that every pet shop in New York City must have sprinklers.